Now, if you watch the Outlook Level 1 training video, the introduction to Outlook, you're familiar with by now that in the main view, you have your menus up at the top, your standard toolbar down below. However, anytime you open up an item or create a new item like an email message, an appointment, a contact, let's do a new email message, it switches out the menu and the standard toolbar in favor of the quick access toolbar and the ribbon. And in the previous and in the two previous training videos, I showed you how to customize the standard toolbar and create a new menu. Well, here the only thing that you can customize is the quick access toolbar. First of all, the default buttons on the quick access toolbar is your save, undo, redo, and you're moving to the previous or to the next item. To customize it, you can do it one of two ways. You can either right click on it and go down to customize, it gives you a list of the more popular commands, or close out. Click on the drop down arrow to the right of the quick access toolbar, and you can see everything has been checked is what's currently displayed on the quick access toolbar. I can go ahead and choose one of the popular ones here, like Quick Print, and it adds it. Now the Quick Print, when you click on it, immediately sends, in this case, the message right to your printer without any pop-up options of how many pages you want to print or what pages to print off and so on. So I don't like that. To remove it from my Quick Access Toolbar, I'm going to go ahead and right-click on it and say Remove. You can also click on the drop-down arrow and go down to More Commands, which brings up the same window as we just saw a few seconds ago when we right-clicked on the Quick Access Toolbar and went to Customize. But I don't want to see just the popular commands. I want to see all commands. And it's alphabetized from the A's all the way down to the Z's. I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way down to the P's here. And there's the Quick Print. I can double-click and add it over to the right. And there's also the Print. Again, the difference between the two is that the print, when you click on it, it's going to give you options of what you want to print, how many pages you want to print, before it actually sends it off to the printer, where the quick print, again, bypasses all that. To remove it, I can double-click on it, and it removes it from the access toolbar here. Also, I can change the order here. If I leave print right here, it'll be at the end of the quick access toolbar, but if I select it and click the up arrow, I can put it in between the redo and the previous items. There are some commands I like to separate because the, the pointer is so small that if I accidentally hit on redo or print, you know, I don't want to mess with uh, the results of those commands being so close. So I'll try to break them up with keeping the more used commands or the more critical commands in between the less used commands or the less critical ones. So if I hit redo, I just have to hit undo versus hitting the print button and having it print off or in this case, I can just click cancel when it brings up the print options window. Another command I want to use, let me scroll up to the M's, is move to folder, double click on that, and I'll select that one and move it down and keep it away from my print command and then click OK and it displays up on the quick access toolbar. Now a side note is that when you customize the quick access toolbar for creating messages, it'll only be there when you create new messages. In other words, when I close out of here and I open up a message that's already been created, double click on it, those commands are not listed here. Again, close out of here, let's go to the calendar, click on a new appointment or open up a current appointment, it's not going to be listed up at the top. So yes, you're going to have to go ahead and customize the quick access toolbar for all new messages, all new appointments, all new contacts versus current contacts, current appointments uh, that you have. You'll have to customize those as well. So back to my mail folder, just double click and open up the current messages that I have. And again, go ahead and right click, customize, and there's my popular command there. Double click on that, move to other folder, click OK. And let me go ahead and close out. Let me show you what I'm going to do here to use that command. There's on-site training, and that's in the inbox here. If I go to the manager folder, there's no on-site training. So back to the inbox, double-click and open up on-site training. So if I'm reading my email and I'm like, okay, I'm done, this should be in the uh, folder that I created, managers. Just click on move to folder, which is the same button right here. Click on it, and then go ahead and select the folder you want to move it to. There it is, manager. Click OK, and it dumps it right over there. Go to the manager, and there it is on-site training. That's another thing you want to keep an eye out for is that when you add commands to your quick access toolbar, let me double click on this, make sure it's not already there available right in front of you. Move to folder, move to folder. Doesn't make sense to add it up here, so unless it's a personal preference. And again, to remove it, go ahead and right click on it and say remove from quick access toolbar. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.